Now, since we just talked about the wolf kishner reduction, uh, we'll talk about a reaction that carries out exactly the same result. So we can take a ketone or aldehyde and completely reduce the carbonyl here, uh, replacing the oxygen with two hydrogens. So same thing the, the Clemenson or wolf kishner reduction do. We've just got another tool in our tool bag that will accomplish it. And, uh, but the way is kind of unique. It's different than the other two ways. And the first thing we're going to do uh, is instead of using something like ethylene glycol and instead of getting a cyclic acetal, we're going to use a sulfur analog here. And with the sulfur analogs here, we're going to get what's called a thioacetal. So, and what's nice is when you add H2 and rainy nickel, you'll break both of these bonds here and you don't have to know the mechanism. Uh, but H2 and the appropriate catalyst here is specifically rainy nickel, um, but it'll replace both bonds to sulfur with bonds to hydrogens. And again, mechanistically, uh, the first half of the mechanism is identical uh, and directly analogous to what we learned with forming uh, cyclic acetals with our uh, ethylene glycol and, and our protecting groups for ketones. So mechanistically, the, the first half is something you could be asked, but it's something that we've already covered. The second half with any nickel, we don't know the mechanism exactly. We kind of have some ideas, but don't worry about it. It's nothing you're responsible for there as well.